Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So in today's video, we are going to deal with the practical geometry that is last exercise of this chapter from NCRT textbook of class 8. So here only one question has been given in which the following four questions are related to it. So in today's video, we are going to solve this part. So before starting the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as I post my new video. So here the first question is draw the following the square read with re is equals to 5.1 centimeter so only one centimeter they have given that is re is equals to 5.1 centimeter so as they have shown here read is a square we can understand that if one side is equals to 5.1 centimeter then all the four sides will be equal so let us draw a rough diagram here okay so this is a square read is a square Okay, and they have shown us that RE is equals to 5.1 centimeter. So if this is 5.1 centimeter, then we know that from the property of the square, all four sides of the square will be of equal measurement. Okay, so let us draw this. So one is of 5.1 centimeter. So from here, we are going to take 5.1 centimeter. So this, okay. Okay, so let us name this as EA. This is E and this is A, which is 5.1 centimeter. This was 5.1 centimeter. Now, if this is 5.1 centimeter, we need one more condition here. That is, we will take this point as 5.1. From here, this is 5.1. So, from here, we are going to take this as 5.1. Okay, and from here, again, we are going to take 5.1. One. as we have taken here but you can see there is no point to join here so we cannot join this both the lines for that what we need to do is we need to take a 90 degree over here because we know that all the squares all the four angles will be 90 degree okay now this is one arc we have taken with the same measurement this will be a 60 degree and again the same thing this will be a 120 degree and between this both what we are going to get is 90 degree okay okay now this line is nothing but 90 degrees line from here as well as from both the sides. So first what we will do is we will take this part that is 5.1. Okay, this point we have taken that is 5.1 we have taken. So we got this point as D that is 5.1 centimeter now again from this point we need to take 5.1 centimeter which is already taken and we will cut over here now we got one more point so we will join this part as well as we will join this part okay so as you can see here this will be 5.1 centimeter this will be 5.1 centimeter automatically okay so this was the answer for the first condition now second condition you can see second one a rhombus whose diagonals are 5.2 centimeter and 6.4 centimeter long okay so in the length it is already given this is second one this will be the case of the rhombus okay and they have given length long that is 6.4 centimeter long they have given so this part will be 6.4 and this diagonal will be 5.2 okay so what we can do is we will take this as a b c and d okay so now we will take this 5.2 centimeter so let us take that 5.2 centimeter okay so this is 5.2 centimeter which is b d is 5.2 centimeter okay now we need to divide this 5.2 centimeter by 2 so that we get the exactly middle point of this okay so how we can get it two ones are two twos are four and one carry point six so two point six will be the exact middle point of this okay two point five and two point six so this will be the midpoint of the of the rhombus Either you can do this and draw a straight line for this or what you can do is you can take the more than half of this line okay and you need to cut an arc over up and down okay then similarly from this side you need to do it one arc from this part and from this part now what you got is exactly the center point of this you need to join this part okay as you got this point you, you need to join this lines also 
if you join this parts you are automatically done with you are automatically done with this measurement will be 6.4 yes as you can see here this measurement is nothing but of 6.4 this is 6 and 1 2 3 4 okay so this is done second one now look at the third case a rectangle with adjacent sides of length 5 cm and 4 cm okay so the length have been given that is in the third case rectangle is given now suppose this is an rectangle whose length is 5 cm so this longer side will be 5 cm and this shorter side will be 4 cm let us name this as m and o p okay now if you know uh, you know the about the rectangle then this will be if opposite sides of the rectangles will be equal if this is 4 cm this will also be 4 cm and if this is 5 cm this is also 5 cm okay now let us draw this so 5 cm we need to take first this is nothing but 5 cm okay this is p and o which is 5 cm then we need 4 cm from here okay before taking this 4 cm what we will do is we will take an arc which is of 90 degree because one side one angle must be a 90 degree to be a rectangle okay this is again 60 degree and from here keeping again this is again 120 degree again by keeping on this two points if you cut an arc you are getting a 90 degree this is your this is your 90 degree okay now what you need to do is you need to measure 4 cm okay and let us cut this at 4 cm this is nothing but the point n which is 4 cm if this side is 4 cm okay now this is the point which is at 4 cm now what we will do is we will take this part which is 5 cm okay so this is 5 cm from by keeping it here we will cut an arc of 5 cm and from this part we are having 4 cm we will take again 4 cm and we will cut we will keep at this point and we will cut at this part now we got a point here we can join this this is what exactly the rectangle is okay then moving to the last question of this exercise a parallelogram ok where ok is equals to 5.5 centimeter and ka is equals to 4.2 centimeter is it unique they are asking okay so let us draw a parallelogram so for the parallelogram we know that parallelogram is also in the uh, form of rectangle or in the form of square we can say which is o k a y okay so k a they have already mentioned here that is 4.2 centimeter and o k is nothing but 5.5 centimeter okay so we need to draw this now the same thing we need to do that is first we are going to take this 4.2 centimeter from 0 to 4.2 centimeter this is k a which is 4.2 centimeter then from this part we are going to take 5.5 centimeter and you know that uh, the in case of parallelogram also both sides will be equal okay so what we will do is first we are, we are going to take 90 degree here as you know parallelogram means one will be right angle so from here to here this is again the same 60 degree again 120 degree again you are going to cut an arc from here and same thing arc here this is nothing but your 90 degree okay now if this is 5.5 this side will also be 5.5 so what we are going to do is okay this is 5.5 so we'll keep here and okay you can see this is 5.5 okay and again by keeping at this point we will cut this at 5.5 okay now as this point is 4.2 what will be this line this oy measurement it will also be 4.2 so by keeping on this point we will take 4.2 we'll take the measurement as 4.2 and by keeping here we will cut this at this point okay now let us join this and this part okay now this was 4.2 this is 5.5 this is 5.5 and this will be 4.2 centimeter this is o k a and this is y okay so i hope 
this is clear to you this whole chapter is completed that practical geometry is completed as well as this exercise is done if you are having any doubts regarding this you can comment me down below so i'll be back with another video so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you